Hi everybody, it's Father Bill, and I am hiking near, well, one of the trails on L.L. L. Stubb Stewart State Park, and I'm not by myself, I'm with... Father Mike. Father Mike, that's right. So we're, we're hiking. Now, Father Mike is more of an accomplished hiker than I am. I'm more the uh, recreational hiker. But, uh, Father Mike, you've actually done a lot of hiking in the past. What are some of the things that are needed for serious hiking? For serious hiking, well, a backpack, and it's good to have the right camping tools, something to keep dry, uh, camp stoves and ways to cook, uh, dehydrated food is good because it's light, you don't have to carry too much. If you're going into snow, then you might need crampons, you might need an ice axe of some sort. Uh, depending on where you're going, uh, good GPS, flashlights, headlamps always work really well. Anyway, keep going. You can go on and on yeah, and on, right? Just goes. Depends on how technical. Well, we're not doing any of that. That's actually, I mean, here's a trail. It's not so this bad. This is a stroll through the park. <laughs> this is a, in fact, I think we were almost, what, two thirds done and we thought that it was longer than this. We're obviously keeping a pretty good clip, it seems. Huh? Yeah. But since we're not doing that, all we really brought are water and the right kind it's of water. shoes and have our phones just to make sure. I took a picture of the map to make sure we know where we are. Um, and we have some cell coverage here, but um, not much. And that brings me to the scriptures for this week. And we hear Jesus says that you must hate, whoever does not hate their mother and father and wife and children and all this cannot enter the kingdom of God, cannot be his disciple, cannot be worthy of him. Like, what? That sounds kind of nutty. But really, the word actually in Greek does um, actually, the Greek actually is hate. But mm -hmm. it's, it is. he's using a certain kind of, wording is called, called hyperbole hyperbole yeah we've and been talking about that lately we have we? that's right yeah. some people talk in hyperbole <laughs> like always they talk in hyperbole yeah they never not right this is the best ever <laughs> <laughs> so it's an yeah. exaggeration but it's done to make a point so right. jesus is trying to um alert that his listeners make sure that they're paying attention but that kind of brings to the four okay so what does it mean obviously we need to love our mother and our father and our parents and our kids and all these things but we need to be, this sounds strange, detached. So that means we love things in the right order, mm -hmm. in the right way, and they don't become an idol to us. I remember I used to have a pair of speakers, and I had to go, uh, and I love, I love these speakers in college. I spent, a lot, spent some money on it, saved some money to get it. And then I went off uh, to California to do some work, and I had to go store them somewhere. I totally forgot about them. When I come back at the end of the summer, I'm like, oh, yeah, I forgot about those. Where before, they kind of... For all of what my, you know, well-being, well, that, and that may be an exaggeration too, but I was like really, you know, on those things. And Music in the 80s was really important. Well. Like good sounding music, not just little headphones. True. Those well, you know. speakers were very common. Right. Now you have like ear pods yeah. and things like that. Uh, and it's still important to uh, teens and just different music. Yeah, different. Of course, I think 80s rock just. <laughs> anyway. Yeah. Or 90s. We're, we're, 90s. Yeah. Sort of 90s. Yeah. Something like that. Yeah. Well, I diverge. Anyhow, so the point being is that to be detached, it means to to have a certain amount of care for something, a stewardship over something, but not let it own me. I should not have it own me. And so as we're walking here, um, doing our hiking, I'm thinking that we don't need all that stuff. We don't need crampons. We don't need ice picks. And we just need maybe water and maybe some kind of some sun protection awareness of where we are. Light, comfortable clothes and shoes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, know where we're going. Yeah. So when it comes to faith, what do we really need? What do we really need? Now, the church has a plethora of wonderful devotions, and we have a an encyclopedia of wonderful prayers. But what's the most important thing we need? Well, it's Jesus, right? But how do we cultivate a relationship with Jesus? One of those ways is going to Mass, right? And receiving the Eucharist. Going to confession, mm -hmm. we were talking about confessions just a little while ago. Not what people are saying in confessions, just <laughs> comparing <laughs> confession schedules and stuff. <laughs> oh, that's true, yeah. <laughs> um, but think about this. What is it that maybe in your life, or I think about what's in my life, that is so important I kind of fixate on it? Or think of like a car. When you've got a first, like when I get a new car, I'm like wanting to baby it. I don't want any scratches in this car. Um, and I look at my cars that I drove up here to uh, the car company. There's a lot of scratches, and especially on the front end of the car. There's a lot of nicks and dings and uh, things from the uh, rocks that, that have hit it. He, he says that, but his car still looks new to me. <laughs> <laughs> well, I do I do wash it. Good care I it. do take it. I'm trying to be good. Yeah. Yeah. But at the same time, 
even when I watch it, I go, I'm, where is, like, what kind of relationship do I have with a car, right? It's a, it's a thing that gets me around. Mm -hmm. um, and I should take good care of it. But there's a point at which we may be tempted to do more than what we should be doing. The question is, what is that for each of us? And as we walk on this, let's, let's go. As we walk on our pilgrimage, right, of life, we have to discern do, how much do we need as we hike along this trail of life. And I'm thinking, well, most importantly in our faith, we need Jesus. We need him to be with us as we um, walk through the difficulties, go through the ups and the downs of the trail of our lives, knowing that he's always there. So maybe, maybe he isn't there for you. Maybe you're struggling. I would encourage you to think about if you've not gone to church and wherever church you go to, to go to church. Go to St. Cecilia. Oh, Mike's there. He's a good guy. Go to Holy Trinity. Oh, the Bill's there. He's a great guy. <laughs> <laughs> right. And wherever you go, just go. Now, sometimes you think, I don't feel like I want to go or I don't feel worthy. None of us are worthy. I'm not worthy. But we go because we need him and he can help us. It's through encountering him that he reminds us who we truly are how much he loves us. And you just watch how it feels when you leave Mass. Do you feel more loved? Are things better? I bet you they are. Yeah, life is better mm -hmm. when you have it. Yeah. You have your right perspective. Mm -hmm. And you're putting your attention and your focus on what is most important. And just as if you're focused on all the things as you're hiking around and doing all this and it's all about the gear, you miss the purpose, which is to enjoy the outdoors and friendship. So in a similar way, when it comes to our faith, we do have a God who wants to be in great relationship with us. We don't want to let that go for something that's less important. Yeah. So, my friends, come to Mass this weekend. Or go to church wherever you go. And remember who's the most important. I like to think of it this way. What matters and what will matter in a thousand years? And what am I doing to prepare for it? I hope to see you this weekend at Mass, either at Holy Trinity or... St. Cecilia. God bless you all. <laughs> okay, take care. Bye-bye. <laughs>